Previously, we've looked at how to create a table as well as how to add data to a table. But what about making changes? Now, this would be equivalent of like a update command in SQL. So I'm going to double click on my products table just to open up in data sheet view. When I do that, I see several products I have. Now, I've only added three products here, but you can get an idea of how to work with it. And how you work with three products is very similar to how you work with 30 products or 300 products. The only real difference is going to be in how you have to go search for them in order to find those products. And we'll actually deal with some of that a little bit later on. But right now, we're just looking at our products and we're taking a look at what we want to change. So, for example, I have a large screen door here. It is sold by Acme Screen Door Company and their home and garden. And I only have two in stock, but you know what? One of those gets sold. So I need to update my items in stock and I'm going to set that to one. And notice that all I had to do was highlight it and type in a new value. Came very, very easily. Now I can go and I can make other changes if I want to. So for example, I could change the price. I might say, hey, you know what? My retail price isn't quite what I want. It's in high demand. I might make a change here. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to completely wipe this out and say $52.99. Notice when I hit tab, it goes in and puts that dollar sign back for me. All those types of things are just decorative. They're not required. We don't have to add them. Access knows how to handle that. It would be the same thing if, if I used an input mask to showcase, for example, a social security number or phone number. It would automatically put in the dashes and parentheses and spaces for me. I don't have to do that. This is Access making it easier for people and was really what Access was built around. As a desktop database, you're not required to have a complex understanding of SQL or its commands. It's designed to be very user friendly. Now, in this particular case, we would have seen something like update products set retail price equals items in stock equals with the appropriate new values. And then it would do something like where product ID equals to. We don't have to know that the end user, whoever's going to use this, if we're going to hand this off to someone else, they don't have to know it. They just have to be able to type into a form, which is very, very nice. How do I go about saving it? Well, just like when I added data, all I have to do is either click on my little pencil icon or I can move to a new row. Either one saves it. Until that time, no data is saved. As soon as we do either one of those and a little pencil icon goes away, that data is saved and ready to be used. So that's just kind of a really nice feature. Now, I can only update one row at a time, but I could update multiple rows while my product is open. So for example, let's say I find out that the jump ropes have become discontinued. They're not going to be offered through George's Jungle Gym anymore. Well, I can simply come over here, click on the discontinue. Notice it puts a little check mark. And then I can click on my pencil icon and save it. And so now that record is saved. Nice, updated, saved, everything that we needed to do. So that's how we go about updating information inside of a database. Very, very simple and easy to work with. And that's one of the main advantages to using a desktop database like Microsoft Access.